Hello folks, Resident FIFA here for the Road to Manual Mastery, Episode 8, where I'm attempting to go all the way to a Division 1 League title using full manual controls on the FIFA 13 Season Mode. Last time out we got promoted out of Division 8 and won the League title to boot, so this time we are in Division 7, and as mentioned in the last episode, for this division I'm going to be using international teams only. Now, I tried as much as I could to get international versus international matches in this division, but a lot of the time I couldn't find one, so I just uh, went for international versus club. But I use international teams all the time. This first match, I use Bolivia, new teams of FIFA 13, and end up against Dundee United. Live reactions as always. Let's go. There's a match you never thought you would see. Bolivia against Dundee. Come on, Bolivia. There we go, right. Come on, arse. Don't be an ass. Well, if he's not going to come near me, I might as well just keep going. Uh, I need, I need, I need someone to pass to. Spin him. Ah, that's terrible. Uh, that's a corner. I'll take that. I've been good from corners. Posing a threat. That's a good one. Oh, Nicky. There's the flick. There's the high. Oh! Good effort, Bolivia. Come on, ass. if that's you. He's tricky with his little, little one-touch, first-touch passes, isn't he? Battle with him. Whoa, he should not be able to get a shot like that away. Crikey. Bit of an adjustment from uh, the five-star teams. Bolivia's touch is like they never played football. Or that they don't have feet. It's one of the two. Or at least they're not aware that they have feet. And even if they are, then they don't know how to use them. Tight angle. Oh, yes! Yes! I can't believe I squeezed it in from there. Oh, what an ass! Brilliant. Is anyone, what language do they speak in Bolivia? Is it... Do they speak some... Do they have a sort of Bolivian dialect of, I don't know, Portuguese maybe? And Spanish? Do they have their own language? I don't know. It's quite bad. Oh, right back, where are you? Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Where did that suddenly come from? That's it, stay on side. Oh, brakes on, brakes on. Marcelo Moreno! Oh, no! I didn't think I could pass it to the other guy, so I hit it. Oh, that's over. You see what I mean? It's, he's, he's tricky. This needs to be accurate. It's not accurate. That was dangerous. That was risky. Oh, no. Don't be a pillock. Change player. It didn't change my player, but he got away with it. Ah! Good dummy. There's a man over there. That's a great ball. Oh, but... The, yeah, get the rebound. That was a super cross. Great header. Really unlucky for that not to go in. But got the rebound. That's a little bit of luck that I probably needed to kill this one off. Because this has been hard. This is this has been a definitive step up, I would say. Oh, but it could be three. It could be three. It is three. <laughs> How am I winning this? 3-0. Clinical. He's gonna go. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> 3-0 win to start the season maybe a little bit harsh on him probably slightly unfair given the balance of play but I'll take it any day of the week and now I would love to move on and show you the next game but I have a bit of a problem when I record these uh, episodes when I record the games I record my audio live reactions in a separate program to what I record the Xbox gameplay footage and basically for some reason on this game I had a moment of completely blanking and forgot to record the actual match at least until later on so you can't see any of the first half I was Sweden he was Spartak Moscow and it was one all at half time he took the lead first this was my reaction to his goal he didn't go with him did he? oh no I can't believe he squeezed that in Actually sounds quite rude if you can't see the footage. Anyway, here's an artist's interpretation of what his goal looked like. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Here was my reaction to my goal. 
However, I might equalise with one of my own! Get in there, Romanda! Come on! And it looked a little bit like this. I mean, I probably beat two more players than in that one, and the finish was from 15 yards further out. But you get the general idea. Anyway, basically, that was pretty much all that actually happened in the match. There were a couple of chances. Ibrahimovic attempting to do a much closer range bicycle kick than is normal for him getting close. And in all honesty, my opponent really should have won the game in the last minute. He got a breakaway, and for some inexplicable reason, he decided to try a finesse shot from here instead of passing it to a teammate. This is FIFA 13. Finesse shots aren't like that anymore. Clearly stuck in FIFA 12, but I wasn't complaining. It ended in a one-all draw. I am sorry about the recording. But mistakes happen. Anyway, a one-all draw it was. And the next match, which I can show you, I'm going to tell you now, I win this match, but it is by a mile the most frustrated I have ever been after a win in my entire life. You'll see why. Uh. <clears throat> oh, bloody hell. Oh, penalty! Ref! Referee! He has taken him down! I've sp Oh, come on! That was an atrocious decision, but I'm in. I'll let you off if I can bury this. Dos Santos! Yeah, no messing. No messing. No missing. That's 1-0. Mexico take the lead. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, you're 1-0 up inside 10 minutes. Maybe he should have had a penalty, but that's not exactly bad. And you're right. At this point, things were going absolutely fine. I didn't mind the penalty too much, although it would have been nice. It was after this where... I just started to get annoyed with myself, not with the game, not with my opponent, with myself. One thing I have been asked quite a few times is whether or not I can do some sort of defending tutorial. And I have always steadfastly refused. I've said I'm never going to make one. Here's why. Absolutely atrocious defending. I don't know what I was doing, gifting him away back into the game. And it was after this that the frustration really started to set in because I made chance after chance after chance after chance and I just could not take any. There's a man at the back. Oh, no! He's I swear I wasn't aiming there. Might not need to worry about that. Hernandez is in. Oh, it's a good save. <laughs> it, is, it is just laugh on. Here's another. Hernandez. Oh my god, how has he managed to deflect it away from me? That wasn't even all of the chances in the first half. There were more, but I don't have time to show you all of them. But in the second half, finally, finally, I got the goal I needed. Finally! Thank you! Oh my god! That is such a relief. How many chances do I need? This is appalling. And now, you see what I mean about flipping? Yes! <laughs> that is such a relief. Oh, God, did I need that. I most certainly did need it. If you've ever used manual and you found shooting difficult, if it makes you feel better, I've used it for nearly three years now, and I can still do things like this. That was my second open goal miss of the game, and there was another still to come. Here's a third. I mean, I just, I was just in disbelief. This was the worst performance I'd ever put in in a game that was winning. He even got another goal back. He brought it back to 3-2 but thankfully I just about held on but this last uh, last minute shot, this summed up my entire match. My shooting was atrocious but a win is a win so I will take it but I was really annoyed with myself after this game uh, and kind of understandably because that was just a disgrace but at the end of the day it is seven points. We are well on track to move out of Division 7. Next time, we will see if we can keep moving our way through the divisions. 
for the first match. I am Ivory Coast with their pace and power. Be great if you could have a look at that when it comes along. And as, as always, if you can let me know what you thought of this video, that would be fantastic as well. And if you feel like it, play manual.